when you select a motion camera setting and if you reach the focus and as you can see in the focus you can uh if you move it there <clears throat> if you go inside it select it in a focus you can change the focal length and lens sensor i explained them before in a previous lessons you can refer to them this is all about changing the focal length the field of view you can change it you can change it for example here and this is a simple camera and as you can see in the physics is automatically control it it's dependent with this sitting here this sitting from the focus is controlling the whole camera settings because it's an external tag and it's not a motion camera it's a like a camera you can refer to the previous lesson we explain all of them before this controlled by the tag now you can control the focus distance <clears throat> enable autofocus if in an animation in a target you have two target or for example target number one target number two and you uh, you can look at we have a target number one it's there and we <clears throat> assign it as a target number two for example and we move in between them and it's automatically auto focused with the target if you enable the depth of field or anything it's automatically enable auto focus a dolly zoom you can create a dolly zoom and uh, change the intensity of it here but as you can see it's better it's very tricky to make a dolly zoom here or you can enable or disable depth of field i suggest you do uh, if you want to create it in a motion camera you can <clears throat> first select a camera and then simple camera and then uh, link it to your default camera but let's first see what is dolly zoom the dolly zoom i create a camera simple camera here and come exactly in this part the dolly zoom effect you cannot you can see it for example if i zoom back and my background zoom in and it's create an ex, um, interesting effect you can google the dolly zoom and in lots of uh, movie uh, movies it will be it's they are actually using that so for better understanding this i place my camera here and in this frame i k-frame it to better understanding that it's it's nice to make your uh, camera back like this make your camera back and k-frame it and as you can see we have an animation like this and uh, we are zooming back and we play with a focal length we are zooming back we animated the focal length and exactly vice versa of our zooming back we increase the number of the focal lengths zooming in a higher number super no 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 it's very high this it's done enough and animate it and as you can see we have a simple dolly zoom this is on dolly zoom we are zooming back but our background is zooming in this is an all about dolly zoom and you can uh, do it exactly with another camera motion camera and here you can control the density of that or you can the the best way for changing the depth of field control you can control it here the focus area blur area i explained it before it's very simple you can do it in your main camera set the focus distance it's better here it's more understandable here select the focus distance and in a detail you can activate the depth of field blur i explained it before it's better and more understandable to change it here and uh, that's it or for example if you want to this is our camera 
And as you can see, this is our camera that has a dolly zoom. Uh, we want to convert it to motion camera. As I said before, you can select it and then overwrite it with the motion camera. And then you could go to motion, steady camera, and you have to look at, at the view of your motion camera. And uh, if you go into your motion camera, in the object, as you can see, we have an animated the focal length also. Nice, you can turn your default camera off. And as you can see, we have dolly zoom with our motion camera. In this way, you can create it and you can go to the focus and you can enable focus control. And as you can see, if you enable it, everything will be override and your dolly zoom will be uh, this, this disable because we want to control the focus here. If you turn it off, everything is back to its original sitting that we created dolly zoom. This is all about dollism. You actually, you have extra control with your focus, targets, or doll zoom here, but I suggest don't use them because it will be a lot of confuse, happen, confusing uh, things. Do the same job that I do here. First, symbol camera, do your settings, doll zoom, or focus, or depth of field here. It's very easy. I explained it before. Then, if you want to use a, uh, you want to convert this camera to the motion camera, select it, then select motion camera, everything is done. It's override and look at, turn it off from render on viewport, just work on a, a motion camera. They are the same, it's converted to this. They are linked to each other. As I explained before, if you go in here, <clears throat> what was that? In a ring, a, a rig, as you can see, uh, the motion camera is linked with our default camera that we created dolly zoom very easy very easily with that and that's it okay this is the last half for our motion camera in the next lesson we are going to the camera morph and camera crane Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.